Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 2nd of November 1988, the first major internet security attack began when the Morris Internet Worm was released. Robert Tappan Morris was a graduate student at Cornell University when he developed a self-replicating program that exploited security flaws in the fledgling internet. Known as a worm, the software targeted computers running the Unix operating system using three different methods of attack. Morris released the program from MIT by remotely accessing their network. Once out in the open, however, the software began clogging up other systems by replicating much faster than Morris had intended. Some computers infected themselves multiple times, while they also spread the worm to other machines that brought educational, governmental and military networks to a halt. When Morris realised the scale of infection, he contacted his friend Andrew Suddeth at Harvard and asked him to post a bulletin board message indicating how systems administrators could reduce the worm's spread. However, since the network was already congested with the software, the message was too little too late. By the time the attack was brought under control over the next few days, between two and 6,000 major systems had been affected. The exact cost of the ensuing damage is difficult to calculate, especially since the program didn't actually destroy any files. Nevertheless, the time taken to clear up the mess was significant, and the US Government Accountability Office estimated damages of at least $100,000 and maybe as much as $10 million. Morris was subsequently found guilty of violating the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act and received a fine three years probation and an order to complete 400 hours of community service.